Scientists say that even a little bit of light while you're asleep can harm your heart. That in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest information. Researchers from Northwestern University say heart rates rise and the body can't rest properly when there's light in a bedroom. Their findings add that exposure to even a moderate amount of ambient lighting during nighttime sleep compared to sleeping in a dimly lit room harms cardiovascular functions and increases insulin resistance the following morning. And here I thought it was all the drinking and the smoking. <laughs> but seriously, senior study author Dr. Phyllis Z said, quote, The results from this study demonstrate that just a single night of exposure to moderate room lighting during sleep can impair glucose and cardiovascular regulation, which are risk factors for heart disease, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome. Z says that there's already evidence that light exposure in the daytime kicks the heart into gear to meet the challenges of the day. She says the same thing happens with light exposure while you're asleep. In fact, team members said this happens while you're asleep, which they say is not a good thing. Study authors found that insulin resistance occurred in the morning after people slept in a lit room. What is insulin resistance, you ask? Well, I'll try to tell you. Insulin resistance occurs when cells and muscles, fat, and the liver don't respond well to insulin and can't use glucose from blood for energy. To make up for it, the pancreas makes more insulin. Over time, blood sugar goes up. You don't want that happening. Z says that an earlier study looked at a large group of healthy people who had exposure to light during sleep and they were more overweight and obese. I know what you're thinking. I try to keep the lights off quite a bit while I'm sleeping. The participants in the study weren't aware of the biological changes in their bodies at night either. The team says exposure to artificial light at night during sleep is common, either from indoor light emitting devices or sources outside the home, particularly in large urban areas. Up to 4 in 10 people sleep with a bedside lamp on or with some other light or television on in the bedroom. I can't do that. The study tested the effect of sleeping with 100 lux, that's moderate light, compared to 3 lux, that's a dim light, in participants over a single night. Researchers have three tips for reducing light during sleep. Number one, don't turn on lights. If you need one for safety, then make sure it's dim and close to the floor. Number two, color is important. Amber or a reddish orange light is less stimulating for the brain. Don't use white or blue light and keep it far away from the sleeping person. Number three, blackout shades or eye masks are good if you can't control the outdoor light. Move your bed so the outdoor light isn't shining in your face. Okay, this brings another point up, which drives me nuts. So I swear Indiana Jones built my house because there are two times out of the year when the sun shines right through the window above my front door, bounces at a 45 degree angle off the back door, and then right into my freaking eyeballs when I'm trying to sleep in the morning. You know, you had to have planned this. You know, and since my dog opens the door every time I try to close it, I'm screwed. But I digress. To sum it up, light, bad, dark, good for your heart when sleeping. <laughs> Check out more detail in the link in the description below for more information on this and all kinds of other studies at studyfinds.com.